My name is Donald McCahey, and I'm a PhD student studying scramjet engines. So when you think about a jet engine, you probably imagine something like this. Um, they typically sit below the wings uh, with a large fan at the front and maybe hot air coming out the back when it's heating up on the runway. In these engines, a fan accelerates the incoming air as the plane is flying. Uh, the flow then passes through the compressor, a series of smaller fans which compress the air, raising its temperature and pressure for combustion and increasing the energy of the air. Once the air is compressed, fuel is injected and ignited and the burning gases rapidly expand. This energy we've built up is converted to kinetic energy, which powers the turbine that drives the compressor and accelerates the burning gases out the back of the engine to push the plane forward. When we try to go higher than the speed of sound, about 776 miles per hour, these moving parts don't work as well. They experience high temperatures and pressures and it becomes difficult to compress the air with a compressor. So how do we increase the speed beyond this? Can we produce a faster engine which doesn't need these moving parts? A scramjet engine is a type of ramjet engine and these engines rely on the forward momentum of an aircraft to compress the air. Essentially, when moving at a high enough speed, the air is pushed inside the engine with enough force that its temperature and pressure increase enough without the need for a fan or a compressor. It's designed to exceed the limits of turbine engines and other ramjet engines by keeping the flow of air supersonic the whole way through the engine. At first glance, this appears much simpler. We're taking out all of these moving parts, but in reality, the high speeds, temperatures, and pressures experienced present a variety of engineering challenges. Many of these challenges relate to the process of combustion itself. Fuel being sprayed into air moving faster than the speed of sound needs to rapidly mix with the air, fully ignite and stay burning while keeping the flow supersonic. Achieving combustion in a scramjet engine is like trying to light a match in a hurricane. So why bother? Well, one of the most promising potential applications of scramjet engines is in launch vehicles for space travel, and in particular for the growing satellite market. A typical launch uses several stages of rocket engines, which require an onboard oxidizer in addition to the fuel they carry, as they don't take in air like jet engines. The rocket stages are big, heavy, and many of the parts are jettisoned during flight and either burn up in the atmosphere or fall into the ocean. A scramjet powered stage could replace a rocket stage in future launch vehicles. Requiring no oxidizer, a scramjet stage could be much lighter, which means less fuel, lower cost, or reduced environmental impact, and it could return to the ground to be reused for future missions. As demand grows for affordable, reliable and sustainable orbital launch capabilities and all the different parts that involves, perhaps scramjets, engines with no moving parts, could be part of the solution.